All right, this one. This, this is the one that started it all for me. Deleted photos. So if you've just deleted photos, accidentally formatted them, they've been corrupted or whatever, if that's you and you've just lost a bunch of photos, then this is the tutorial for you. And this one is really all inclusive, so it doesn't matter if you're running a PC or a Mac, whatever you're rocking, I got you covered. So let's jump into it. So first off, we've got three major devices in question that we're going to be recovering from today. And the first one is going to be probably the most common and that is the SD card. I've covered SD cards before, but they're extremely, extremely common, especially when it comes to photos and photo storage. I mean, if you've got a camera, a phone, really anything that has expandable storage that takes pictures, it's most likely gonna run on one of these. Now the second one is hard drives. I've got a bunch of them. Uh, I have a few Lacey ones as well as a Toshiba one. And honestly, these are my mainstays. They're backups and I actually store a lot of video files as well on these things. And one thing's for sure, you can never have too many backups and hard drives are no exception. So if you've got some hard drives that you need to recover photos from, this tutorial's for you as well. And last but not least, we have USB drives, AKA thumb drives, USB sticks, whatever it is. Any type of USB interface drive will work for this tutorial as well. Pretty much any source of external storage that you can think of that you could have possibly deleted photos from, this tutorial is for you. So without further ado, let's get into the steps. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and download our recovery software of choice, which is of course, Disk Drill. So as I said, this tutorial is for both Mac and PC users. And if you look in the description, you'll find the links that are associated with the different software platforms that you could be running. All right, now once you have installed Disk Drill, go ahead and launch it. So on both Mac and PC, you will be offered up some tutorials, which you can follow if you want, which will just kind of, you know, show you around the Disk Drill user interface as well as just kind of help you get started. Uh, but once you get past those, you will be brought to the main disk list, which is within the data recovery panel. Now this is where you'll find all of the drives and disks that are connected to the PC, both physical and logical. And so at this point, if you have not already, go ahead and connect your drive or device to your computer. So if you've got a camera, just go ahead and connect to your computer right now. Or if you've got an SD card or a USB drive or something, just go ahead and connect it to your computer via your USB reader or your SD card reader, whatever you've got. And once it's connected, it should show up in the list in the center here. And once you find the drive, go ahead and select it. Make sure all recovery methods is selected and click search for lost data. If you're on a Mac, click the drive and simply click recover, which will start the same scanning process. Now, obviously the scan is going to take a minute, especially if you have a really big drive or a really large device with a lot of photos on it. So we're gonna have to exercise some patience and I will come back once it's finished. All right, so once the scan is finished, you can review the results. If you're using Windows, just click this button up here, which will show you all the results of the scan. But if you're using Mac, then Disk Drill will immediately bring you to the results of the scan, which you can review in the middle. So the results are set up a lot like a Windows File Explorer or a Finder window in that there's just a bunch of folders that you can sift through to find your files. In addition to that, the Windows version of Disk Drill allows you to filter through the files with the categories on the left hand side. So if you're looking for photos, just click on the little photos tab and that will show you all of the picture files that were found on that drive. So this is everything from JPEGs, uh, you know, PSD images, camera raw, really everything. All right, so now that you've found your files, how do you actually recover them? Well, it's pretty simple and it goes two ways for both Mac and PC. You can either recover everything just using the recover button and not doing anything else, or what you can do is you can put a check mark next to the files that you want to recover individually, and that will recover only those files. So it's really up to you. Now, something that I do need to mention here real quick is that in order to make sure that a file is completely recoverable, it must be previewable. And this is really important because it makes sure that the file is not overwritten and thus will make sure that the file is completely recoverable by disk drill. And you can make sure that it's previewable by simply previewing the file by clicking this little icon right here, just to the right of the file name. So this is for both Mac and PC. And if it's previewable like this inside of disk drill, then you know that it is recoverable and that you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a check mark next to the files that I want. And then on Windows, click recover choose your save location and click OK. And if you've got a Mac, you can choose your save location first and then click recover in the top right. 
Now, real quick for both of these, I need to mention that when you choose a save location, make sure you choose a location that is not the place you're trying to recover from. That's very important. If I'm trying to recover from an SD card, for example, and I export the files to my SD card, that's likely going to overwrite all of the files that I'm trying to recover in the first place. That's something very, very important about file recovery is that you need to make sure that you do everything in your power to not overwrite your files because that will drastically bring down the chances that you're actually able to recover those files. So exporting your files to your desktop, your C drive, really anywhere else that is not this drive is really important. Then once the process is finished, you can navigate to the place that you exported them to and all the files will be there waiting for you. So that's it. That is the best way that I know of anyway to recover photos from SD cards, USB drives, external hard drives, cameras, whatever, from both PC and Mac. Now, as usual, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video and things you want to see me cover in the next video, always be sure to let me know down below in the comments. My name is Andy, and until next time, thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.